All right, what is going on, guys? Fuckholes back again, coming at you the showcase on the new Halloween Noel Max Transcended T20. And honestly, this character has quite a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I apologize for this format. Normally, I like to take stuff from BBS uh, Simulator, which but Soldex hasn't updated his site. Normally, I'll cut and paste stuff in Microsoft Paint and make it look more presentable but unfortunately uh, but alas this is what we got available right so let's just get right into it now i do like this noelle i think she's actually pretty good my only problem with her really is i don't like that first strong attack it reminds me way too much of fifth anniversary biakia she has the 18 percent mag for strong attack her second strong attack is the 960 homing vortex which is really good and then her third strong attack is a standard full screen third strong attack i don't think she's a bad character i'm just saying i don't like that first strong attack in particular and I do have an issue with this character getting the SP boost 80%, but she didn't get increased status ailment chance. And what's weird is that these characters, both Nini and Noel, both got Frenzy plus one and Berserker 40%. Now I get that they do have increased stats when Nini's gauge is active, when Noel's SP boost is active, but these characters in my opinion, could have been much better off if they both started off with Frenzy plus two. If Nini didn't get Frenzy plus one from the gauge and just had Frenzy plus two all around, I think she'd be much better. And the same thing with Noelle, if they gave her Frenzy plus two and she just happened to have SP boost 80%, I think this character would be much better as well. So without further ado, let's just get right into this character. Now she is a no affiliation unit with a Soul Reaper killer. Normally, Burn the Witch characters have two killers, but this one only got one. I don't think that's the end of the world, to be honest, but I think it's definitely worth noting. Status ailments, she does have Weaken and Drain on all of her attacks. I personally love Weaken and Drain. I think that Weaken and Drain together is busted. So yeah, I mean, there's that. So her soul trait, strong attack, recharge minus 12%. Her utility skills, we have the SAR 12% from her soul trait, sprinter plus one, havoc 20%, so increased radius in her strong attacks, follow up, which is really, really weird. It allows you to use your NAD on enemies that are downed, like knocked down from your strong attacks or the last hit of your normal attack damage string. I don't know why they gave this character follow up and bruiser plus 20%. I think that they're on drugs or something, but they gave her NAD like 20%, like why? Like L Bozo, right? Then we have Debilitator plus five seconds for the Weaken and Drain, so it lasts longer. Paralysis Immunity, I'm assuming that's gonna be for Guild Quest. Sharpshooter, Guard Break, as well as Nullify Range Resistance, which is always very, 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 very good. Going into the Strong Attack Damage Multipliers, so this character is Frenzy plus one, Berserker 40%, and then her all around damage bonus, we have damage to weaken enemies 40%, damage to drain enemies 40%, akin to Yamamoto because uh, he gets that damage plus 80% when they're afflicted with both status ailments. And then she also has SP boost 80%, which kind of like Yamamoto is very, very reliant on her second strong attack uh, homing vortex to actually proc her SP boost. It's not bad. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad, but my problem is that it can be quite inconsistent. For her special move damage, this character has weakened defense built in as well as bombardment just like Yamamoto. So there's a lot of comparisons here, in my opinion, that you can make with Yamamoto. And I really do think that when I bring, if I bring up Yamamoto right now, I think that they both have like the same setup, right? Let me pull it up. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure that they have the same setup. So they would deal quote unquote the same damage, right? damage to quote unquote burning enemies plus 40 percent which is what yamamoto has she has drain damage to weaken enemies 40 percent debilitator plus five seconds bombardment weaken defense built in spiritual pressure boost uh yeah i'm doing like a comparison side by side with yamamoto over here on the other side of my, my other monitor and honestly they look exactly the same so expect her to deal as much damage as yamamoto does if only if she if how do I put it? With the drain, you deal a lot of the damage up front, but with burn, you deal tick damage over time. So there's definitely one thing to that's definitely something to note if you want to. But either way, she she de deals dick. She she really does. She's she's literally the futakak, right? When it comes to her soul bomb, she's pulling out that massive strap on. She's taking it to town. All right. So going into the difficult quest, I think that we do have access to inheritance trial so let's peep this Ooh, we have soul reapers here as well which is really good boom boom 
full stamina damage boost. We're gonna bring in Sun Sun and Konami, that way we get some more extra uh, potions. Hikan desne. Alright, 18% mag for a strong attack. Homie, oh, I like that homie vortex. I don't want to get hit. Oh wait, we do want to get hit because we have protection. Look at that. Herpes. But when you take your antibiotics... There you go, look at that. Spiritual pressure boost already online, which is good. She definitely feels faster than Nini. Maybe I should have waited for her SP boost to wear off. Nah, we'll get it back. Okay. Alright, so let's take her into Inheritance Zone, and we should be able to get a better read on things here. The enemies are Soul Reapers here, too. So it should be relatively easy to calculate damage. I feel like calculating damage with her first strong attack is a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to bother doing that because it's an 18% mag. Uh, honestly, it's just kind of doo-doo, to be honest. All right, so first strong attack, can we get that? 61,000 without SP boost. 4,700 without SP boost. Yeah, she has the same issue as Yamamoto, bro. It's hard to get freaking, uh... There it is. So the 4200 now turns into 8000. We essentially doubled our damage thanks to that. 102,000. Wanna wait for this to wear off? We did 102,000. 65,000. So 102 divided by 65, 102 divided by 65, and there you go, 56, 57% uh, more damage. Seven, it's like sixty-eight percent more damage when our SP boost is online for the vortex. Now keep in mind that the range, honestly, is pretty wild. Like the uh, the deviation of the range for her strong attack damage is pretty wild. Like that's one thing that I I always found weird when it came to BBS. Normally, when you attack, uh, in video games, you deal the same damage no matter what, right? Like, okay, this person's gonna take. If they have zero defense, they are going to take 10 damage, right? Okay, cool. They're going to deal 10 damage to everyone. In BBS, like, you'll deal, like, 5,700 damage. Like, between 5,700 and, like, 7,000. Which is a swing of, like, 10 to 15% sometimes. Which I still think is kind of freaking wild, low-key. All right. Oh my god, in the last episode of freaking Bleach is coming out soon, I think. It's supposed to come out today. By the time you watch this, it might already be out, to be honest. Either way, I'm excited. Uh, let's check out the Soul Bomb here. 196,000. That should be with SP boost, because there was other enemies that were closer to me. Take some damage here. Get some aids. Take some antibiotics. I love drain. We're popping off our, our spiritual pressure boost now, though, which is good.
Nice. We got our SP boost just in the nick of time. Didn't bring allies this time. We made it in time. Boom. 221,000 damage, bro. Alright, let's get the soul bomb damage. 221,000. 221,000 damage, right? I knew that I had a calculation coming in and I'm like, I'm like, I'm messing that up, huh? Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. So let's just take this character's soul bomb. This is the initial hit without weakened defense, without uh, the damage to weaken enemies, drain enemies. We're going to multiply this by 1.6 for the double weak in defense we're gonna multiply this by 1.8 for the damage to weaken enemies 40 percent damage to drain enemies plus 40 percent this gets added together not multiplied into each other which would have been better if it multiplied into each other obviously but yeah times 1.5 for the weakened damage because the enemies do get weakened boom and now this is going to get multiplied by seven because it hits eight times total because of bombardment. And then we get the initial 221,000. Boom. So this character Soul Bomb will be hitting for around 6.9 million with Killer. Now, unlike Yamamoto, who has Hollow and Quincy Killer, it would have been nice if she had Soul Reaper and maybe some no no name killer, like human killer or something like that. But she doesn't. And honestly, I really do like that she does nuke pretty hard because she is a heart unit and I don't really know many heart nukers that are really doing things in BBS. Uh, hold up. I was looking. All right. So I was looking up. Let's see here. Yeah, because like the, the last like heart unit with like bombardment, man, like we don't really get too many heart bombardment units. So, I think it's a pretty relevant factor to note that this character is a heart unit with bombardment. So, even though I do think that Aizen at 5 out of 5 is probably better than this character in terms of clearing content like as fast as possible, it's not like this character is useless. Like, she has her uses, and I really, really think that that's important. But I'm gonna leave it there. There's Grano Catch with Pimpa. Stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed this video, you have a great day. Apologize if I've been slurring my words. It is six o'clock in the morning and I really, really need sleep. I'm getting too old, man. I feel like, um, I feel like Murtaugh from Lethal Weapon, bro. I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs>